Hello everybody, it's Rick. Long time no see. Um, it is January 11th, 2022. Uh, where have I been? I've had a very, very hard year, 2021. Um, and my health went on me. I had a couple of, I was in the hospital three different occasions. <clears throat> approximately 30 days um, I'm not gonna get into it but I'm okay now but it was uh, <laughs> it was touch and go for a while it had nothing to do with with the nonsense that's going on in the news okay I wasn't a case okay that's very suspicious it's funny how they don't um, list deaths and if you're paying attention to the news these days, they're finally admitting that people are dying. See, what they did was people die every day. But what these maniacs did is they, they figured out how to scare people by manipulating death. So what happened was people were dying. This is not me now, this is not my claim. And, sorry, and this is what they're saying. They're saying is that people are dying with COVID, but not from COVID. Now, up until recently, they were just saying people were dying from COVID. Very, very sneaky. And these, are, these maniacs that are doing that are the same type of people we're dealing with in child support. Okay, they're, they all work for the government. Uh, Many of them are lawyers or uh, career workers for the government, career agents. Um, they're definitely not your friend and my friend. Um, so just understand that knowledge and doing your own research is probably the best thing you can do. Uh, you, if you want this alleged pandemic to go away, turn off the television. Okay, turn it off. All right, you don't you don't see any uh, homeless people dropping dead, do you? They don't watch television, so they're not afraid. Okay, but anyway, this is not a video of, uh, about that nonsense. Okay, um, what we're going to discuss is uh, well, first let me. <clears throat> All right. That's my email address if you want to reach out to me. All right, please keep the email very brief. Okay, I do not speak on the phone or give legal advice. I do not get personally involved. I only have opinions that relate to child support. Okay, I don't. Um, I, I I don't get involved in custody issues. Um, custody is not an issue for child support. They, okay. The, they even admit it in the paper in their um, uh, what is it uh, section A child support uh, enforcement program. If you read it, they'll they'll even say they have no jurisdiction uh, when it comes to cust uh, custody issues. But don't you know? But we're dealing with uh, criminals, so don't. Do not be surprised if a judge, you know, one of these fake judges to, to use trickery and tell you, well, if you want to see your child, you got to pay child support, which is not true. Your, your child is your property. Okay. You made that child and they're telling you, you, you have to support that child. Well, you could support that child in many different ways. It doesn't have to be by using currency. Okay. You you should always support your child. I I don't want to know if you're not. I'm just going to assume that you are, okay? And it's really not any of their business, okay? They're just trying. They're just trying to figure out a way to steal money out of your paycheck, okay? Another thing, child support. They can't force you to work. That's making you a slave. Okay, 
I did a video on that last year, and and uh, I'm gonna have to do some catching up on that stuff. Um, you know, being sick, I was sick uh, where uh, I had like <laughs> one of the sickness I had, I had a blood infection that uh, attacked my back, and I was in bed for pretty much the whole month of August. I couldn't sit up. I couldn't stand. I couldn't sit down at a chair. I had to lay on my back. I had to eat on my back. I lost over 20 pounds just in the month of August. I couldn't eat. I was in so much pain. I've never been in so much pain in my life. I wasn't even aware of uh, back pain being caused by a blood infection. So, um, another thing, you know, these, these hospitals, you got to be careful when you go to these hospitals. A lot of them, they make a lot of mistakes. A lot of people die or killed in hospitals every year. And that's, that's the phrase they use, killed. <laughs> okay, they make mistakes in hospitals that, that cause people to die. Okay, and myself, I went to the emergency room when this back pain first started at the end of July. And I wound up wasting uh, like 12 hours and they didn't do anything. They just took, they, they went for the most expensive test to give me, which is an MRI. Because, you know, hospitals are in the business of making money. And... They gave me an MRI and they didn't see anything. So they sent me home. And then I went to see another doctor like a month and a half later. And, and he correct uh, he made the correct diagnoses. And that I had a blood infection. Anyway. But that's the reason. One of the reasons I was like I couldn't. I'm just able now to sit down in a chair without pain. Okay. So it's it's it's. It's been really, really rough. Okay, I lost a lot of weight. I lost over 50 pounds. Okay, you could, I don't know if you could tell, but look at my once provided shoulders I used to have. Now I'm just bones, but I'm alive, okay? Um, so, you know, you know I like to talk, those of you who didn't watch my videos. Um, okay, I only have opinions, all right? I was a victim of child support. Um, if you want to see... I'm one of the people, there, I, there are a lot of people that make videos about the courts, especially child support, that never have been to court. These, a lot of people are experts from watching other experts, okay? So, I'm someone who went to court, I've, you know, stood, stood my ground in court, almost arrested many times. If you want to go look at my old videos from years ago, okay, where I was going at it with these people, just to show you that I have credibility. Um, okay, I made a special appearance in court using your paperwork and got my case dismissed with prejudice. I'm so thankful. This was on December 23rd. So this is just to show you that my paperwork can work. I, I make no guarantees. I'm not a, a con artist. I'm very honest. Uh, if anybody's out there bad mouth to me, they're lying. Okay, or they're a sore loser. I make no guarantees. I cannot guarantee you're gonna go to court and win. You, again, we're dealing with, we're dealing with fraudsters. Okay, so I can't make any guarantees. But I, I have had people be successful, okay? And I'm not doctoring the paperwork, okay? Uh, here's another one from uh, Elizabeth. This is back in July. All right, I just, I have a few more, but I just grabbed a couple just to show. I just want to say thank you. It's been a huge battle for us. July 15th, my husband's child support stopped with your paperwork, informative videos. We've been able to overcome this battle. It took a minute, which means it took a while, but it was worth it. Okay, so you can read the rest. Okay, um, look, you call those crooks. It's whatever you call, from the, whatever you call those crooks. So anybody that deals with these people, you know you're dealing with, with criminals. Okay, this is nothing but a a fraud operation, okay, and the best thing you could do is have knowledge and confidence, okay, so let's get 
to this video, right? A lot of slides here. Okay, these are secrets everyone needs to know before you go to a child support court. Okay, the best thing you could do, is, the best thing you could do is not go. Okay, uh, or, you know, sh now the new thing is a video conference because of this deadly disease that you have a 99% a survival rate. By the way, if you didn't know that, that's what the survival rate is. It's 90, actually it's close to 100%. It's 99.98%. That's not my opinion. That's not my information. That's from the CDC. Okay, so it's a 99.98% recovery rate. All right? Doesn't that make sense when they just said it on Sunday that of the, uh, well, the, 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 the fraudster that's the uh, head of the CDC, she couldn't give an answer, but it's coming again of the 836,000 that supposedly died how many died with COVID as opposed to from COVID and she couldn't give an answer um, from what I understand uh, a few months ago the CDC what they do is the CDC and the media they don't cover everything so and they also don't give out the information they, like the media will not uh, cover the information so the CDC releases the information. It's up to you to find it. And uh, they, they claim that only of, of the 100% who died of COVID, only 6% died from COVID. And there's opinions out there that COVID is the flu. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I can't make any claims because of YouTube. Uh, I don't want to violate any... Uh, rules of service so you make that determination yourself okay from what I understand the the, the flu disappeared for a while <laughs> anyway uh, the respond in writing is best okay so the best thing to do is respond in writing now if you've already appeared okay you got all right so once you showed up you didn't know you could also retract you can withdraw your consent and you could say that you only you appeared because you were threatened. You were told if you didn't show up that you would be arrested. If you didn't show up, they were going to garnish your check. If you didn't show up, they were going to suspend your driver's license. You need your driver's license. Everybody needs a driver's license these days. Okay, and I'm not going to get into all the, um, you know, you, you get these legal gurus. You don't need a driver's license to to travel. I understand that, but you know what? You're probably better off driving with a driver's license, okay? I'm, I'm a retired police officer. I didn't know this when I was a police officer, okay? I'm just letting you know. So the odds are that 99% of the police officers out there don't know this either. So if they pull you over and you say, I don't need a driver's license to travel, there's a good chance it's not going to go well for you. It's, what, what, why, why do you need the aggravation? Think about it. That's a battle you don't need to fight. Okay, when the when the fights you can win, all right. You know there there are videos out there, of people, and and so I, I I don't disparage them. If you like getting into confrontation, more power to you. I'm not a confrontational guy. I don't like confrontation. Okay, I try to uh, the old saying. I like to duck a punch. All right, so if somebody throws a punch at me, rather than take the punch, I rather duck and then counter punch. Okay, so. The best thing to do is, you know, do, that's that that that's a battle not worth fighting. It's, I mean, you can win it, don't get me wrong, but it's not, do you really want to get pulled over? And, you know, a lot of times cops will arrest you for that stuff. And you still got to spend the night in jail, whether you're right or wrong. Do you want to spend the night in jail? I don't. Okay. But if you do, that's, listen, you know, that, if you want to go that route, go right ahead. I just gave you my opinion on it. Anyway, it's not a big secret that uh, court actors, judges, child support adjudicators, a.k.a. fake judges, they act like they're supreme beings. They'll even they'll sit above you and uh, they talk down to you. They're not supreme over you. You are a living man and a living woman with blood flowing through your body. You are... You are a thing, a living, a per you're a noun. 
people, places, and things. Okay, that's what a noun is. A person is not a noun. A person is not a living thing. It's a trust, a corporation. Do not be a person. We're all conditioned to use the word person, and it's very hard not to use the, the, the phrase person in today's vocabulary. But when you are in court, every time they call you a person, correct it. Correct it in writing, correct it if they call you a person, okay? You are a sovereign man, woman. You're a living with blood flowing to you. They would have cut you, you bleed, okay? You're a living, you're a living people, okay? They don't want you to know this. So that means that in, 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 in a, a republic, which is what we are, we're all equal. We all we we all have the 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 sovereignty of a king. That's the so a judge or a a uh, judge surrogate for you know child support or a magistrate or whatever they friend of the court whatever they want to be called. They have no authority over you unless you give it to them. So you best way to, is to not give them authority. You have to you have to put them in check. Okay. So you, the, the best thing you could do is do not consent, okay, and give them power. And the best thing to do if you're going to answer is say, I do not understand and I do not consent. That, that's, or you could remain silent. But if you're going to, you know, and here's another trick they use. You cannot use uh, remain silent only in criminal matters. That's, that's bullshit. That's another lawyer trick, okay? Lawyers and other betricksters. Okay, so the Bill of Rights is the supreme law. Remember that, not the Constitution. The Constitution is there to, to protect your rights from the government. The Bill of Rights is the law of the land. Okay? So that's the reason why the, the Second Amendment, you have a right to carry a gun. All right? The state's... And, and and city and counties they created their own laws saying you cannot but again we're in that little quagmire that like i told you with the driver's license before okay <clears throat> just understand that you, you can carry a gun but is it worth that they go through the whole you know ordeal of being arrested tried you know it could cost you thousands of dollars and years of your life fighting this so i'm just but i'm telling you you have a right but they make it hard let's just put it that way right they they make it hard all right okay and here's a slide for you to read they use words they words do not have power so you gotta learn the words okay again you can read this all right they, okay, these are the words that they use, all right? They're very sneaky words, okay? Must. And it's synonymous with may. Must sounds more definitive, but it really is the same as may. Okay, it has two, it's, 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 it, 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 it sounds like you, you must comply, but it, you, it really means you may comply. Anyway. Just understand these words, they have double meanings, okay? A statute is a legislative rule of society that has the force of law, that has the force of law, but again, you gotta comply, all right? Um, I'll show you a great, uh, a great example. Okay, a great example, uh, and this is just the state of New York, okay? <clears throat> In the state of New York, we have the civil rights law. We're lucky enough that in the state of New York that we have laws that protect our rights under the Bill of Rights. Okay? So, you know, not every state has that. You should look into it if you have it in your state. It could be very helpful. All right? So, um, Article 2, Civil Rights Law, okay, Sections 2 through 15. So, we're going to look at Section 2 which is supreme sovereignty in the people. It doesn't say supreme sovereignty in the person, it says in the people, okay? So,
okay? Supreme sovereignty in the people. No authority can, on any pretense whatsoever, look at that, on any pretense whatsoever, health emergency, child support, anything, okay, could be exercised over the citizens of this state, but such as is or shall be derived from and granted. That means they need your consent. No one has authority over you in the state of New York unless you give them consent. What's a great way of giving consent? Silence. Or obeying. Okay? Right now in New York, we got this uh, psychopath governor uh, named uh, Kathy Hochul. She's a psychopath. All right? She's like that that one in Michigan, Whitmer. They must have got their teeth from the same place. They got their, these big capped teeth, and they talk the same way. And uh, she's given her mandates. And mandates require the consent of the people. A mandate is not a law. And again, even a law requires consent. The only law there is is if I injure you, another living thing, another living human. That's it. That's the only thing. Who did I injure? So if you ever get arrested for a crime where the state is the uh, complainant, you could fight that and say, well, can I, can I, can I speak to the complainant that I injured? May I see that? that man or woman and they cannot produce that man or woman the case has to be dismissed you have a right to question your accuser so again a state cannot be a uh, a complainant in a case only you get so like in my paperwork I, I ask where's the injured party it has to be an injured party no injured party we got no crime and they have no personal jurisdiction okay so I'm just showing you here that uh, sovereignty is a law in New York State. So sovereignty exists. The con artists, the fraudsters, whenever you assert your sovereignty in one of their fake courts, they'll call you a sovereign citizen. You must immediately nip that in the bud and say, hey, I don't know what a sovereign citizen is. I'm a sovereign man. Okay, it's a fact that I that I am sovereign, that you require my consent because everything in, in these um, courts, especially in child support, child support is a service. Remember that child support is a service. The uh, the mother or the father, whoever is applying for child support, they're applying for a service. So child support is a collection service from the state. They even have to pay they have to pay a fee okay so understand that all right they so here I'm, let me get back as I go on my little tangents but again they see they need here's a secret they need your consent okay a person I'm showing you a person a human being is not a person because he is a human being but rather because the rights and duties have been so a person is legal yeah that, whatever whatever that means I got this from um, some information uh, on the inf internet. A person is described under, um, what is it? 28 USC 3002, right? This is, I'm using DuckDuckGo, which is a nice um, service for the internet. Uh, better than Google okay uh, persons here we go person includes a natural they just add natural person it's still a person okay don't they get this is how slick they are they use words is a corporation partnership unincorporated so it's a trust an estate public private entity it's not a, it's not a living per, not a living people 
okay? So that's how they get you, all right? The slick. And another thing they don't want you to know that, you know, when you're sovereign, the, well, I'm going to prove that sovereignty exists. Uh, silence is consent. Let's get to here. An agreement is something. So if you're in one of these child support courts, okay, the best thing to do is to respond with paperwork, okay? A lot of times I get, I get notified from people that didn't respond, you know, there might be some people on the internet telling you not to respond. I think you should respond only because it could be a lot worse. Okay. The best thing to do is to respond and to respond the right way. Okay. Because uh, these maniacs will go and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll start, they'll start the clock going for the child support. They'll, they'll assess an amount of child support. And two years from now, you can, they can catch up to you again or, or whatever you you apply you find out your driver's license is suspended you're driving you get pulled over you find out your license is suspended you end up in handcuffs then or or your bank account is frozen you find out oh I owe you know fifteen twenty thousand dollars in back child support because you didn't answer these maniacs okay so the best thing to do is to answer in writing okay so you guys you can read this okay. Okay, statutes and not law. We went over that. Okay, this is to prove that it's a service. Okay, on page 10 of section 8 of Child Support Enforcement Program reveals that child support enforcement is a service and thereby requires an agreement. So if it's a service agreement, it, re it requires your consent. Now, if, if the mother or the father applied for child support, that's between those two, the, the child support agency, the state agency, and the mother or father, okay? Not you, you're not a party to that agreement. So they need you, but if you comply and you do and you do not respond with, I do not consent, you're a party to that agreement, okay? According to them, but I'm, it, it, that's why you're better off responding with paperwork, okay? I have paperwork, I got over 60 affidavits, okay? Uh, even though I wasn't making videos since last February, I still have people reaching out to me, okay? Uh, and that also shows I'm not like a money-hungry guy. I'm not on here, you know, hawking for, you know, looking for gifts, all right? Um, I asked for a, a monetary gift. It's it's not nowhere near what I could get, okay? I've had people who uh, that I met you know, a few years ago, who reached out to me and paid like seven hundred and fifty or a thousand dollars, and all they got was like a boilerplate plate of it's like a, a generic, you know, written version of you know to attack child support. It's all boilerplate means it's all over the internet. Somebody downloaded it, printed it out, and got somebody to pay seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay, and it's, you know, it's, uh, that's that's rotten. I can never do that, okay? And listen, honestly, with my paperwork, I'm not asking for that amount, but I could because I, I give you a lot of information. And I just showed you somebody who, who, you know, filed a special appearance and got out of court, got out of child support. Is it worth 750 I would pay 750 to get out of child support. Okay, if I had seven fifty, most people who are paying child support don't have seven fifty. Okay, uh, I'm significantly less than that. I'm under two hundred dollar gift. Okay, let's put it that way. And again, I never get a complaint either. When people get my paperwork, they're happy. I think I had I had one jerk uh, trolling on um, one of the paid services. You know, a real jerk. And uh, I, and he was just unhappy because he lost. Again, I can't, I don't make any guarantees, guys. I don't know. any. If anybody makes you a guarantee, run away. Okay? There's no guarantees. A, a lawyer won't even give you a guarantee. All right? And they're in, and they're in that slimy business. I, I would never give anybody a guarantee. You can't. All right? I don't even lead you on. I, I don't lead anybody on because... 
again, I've been in court. And listen, I, when I first started going to court, I remember when I discovered it was bullshit. And I thought I was going to go in there and, like, say these words. They just stomped all over me. Ignored me. Uh, threw me out of the room. These are all little games they play. All right? It wasn't until I really started to, you know, learn everything. I started making a lot of noise that they got, you know, they, they were afraid of me. I, they all treated me with respect when I went to family court over in Queens. All of them. All right. And, you know, there was a time when I was making a lot of videos. I I made like 280 videos. I said, think about that. I made 280 videos. And last year I only made two videos. So I started making videos in 2016, the end of 2016, and I made 280 videos since then. All right, um, but it shows that you know <laughs> that I I put out a lot of information. All right, I'm losing my trend of thought here, but let me get back to this. All right, here this is a uh, a screenshot. All right, this is a screenshot of the child support uh, enforcement program here uh, and highlighted $25 for services. So this is proof right here that it's services. It's an agreement. It's a contract. Establishing a support uh, uh, obligation or enforcing a support may apply for services. Okay, $25. So they're charging a fee. That's, that's a service. So child support is a service. So how do they have any authority over you? They don't. Okay. All right, read this. This is good information, okay? Assert your sovereignty. I just told you, I showed you, I gave you an example of New York where, where we have a civil rights law that proves sovereignty exists. Um, again, they like to use the, the, the scam, the sovereign citizen scam. Uh, you know, they, they, they make uh, people out to be domestic terrorists. All right, here's proof underneath their own uh, code, okay? The definition of a private person under their own, this is what I'm saying, under USC section 659, uh, subsection I-4, okay? And here's a screenshot. Means a person who does not have sovereign or other special immunity. So they're acknowledging that that. that People have sovereignty. Okay, so when you when you when they uh, return you a person, you no longer have sovereignty. When you stay in the state, as a, you're going to stay in the state of man or state of woman, you have sovereignty. That means you, they require your consent. They have no authority over you. Okay, but this is proof right here. Okay, here's the definition of sovereignty. Okay. Always stay in the state of man or woman. Okay, read this. Bar Association of the Communist Organization, should put an S there, claim that people who assert sovereignty are domestic terrorists called sovereign citizens. So what they did was, I'm going to tell you what they did. You know, I don't have proof, but, you know, I, again, I, I, I do a lot of research, okay? I'm what you might call a conspiracy theorist. Oh, so, but I, I've, Invested a lot of time. Let's just put it that way. That's how I am. And what they probably did, they took a, they got a government agent. Okay, they do this all the time. They they did it on January sixth. All of those troublemakers on January sixth, they were agents. They were Antifa. A lot of Antifa. They're under they're undercover government agents. That's all they are. So they got like a uh, government agent. To go into court, stir up all kinds of problems. I'm a sovereign citizen. And then the sovereign citizen uh, rights began. That's how they, they, they started off. And the, the sovereign citizen movement started with some probably some government agent dressed up probably as a hillbilly going in there and saying, I'm sovereign. The laws don't apply to me and all this other stuff. And then. That's what they do. They, they 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 claim that sovereign citizens claim that they the laws don't apply to them. Well, you're not saying the laws don't apply. You're saying I don't consent to the laws. Okay, and 
prove that I injured somebody. That's really all it comes down to. Now, if I get a, a ticket for fishing without a license, who did I injure? Nobody. If I went through a red light, who did I injure? God for, you know, no, no accident. Who did I injure? Nobody. Okay, but what happens is when you apply for a fishing license or a driver's license, you have to comply to their rules, state rules. That's how they get you. And your signature, see your signature on the bottom of your driver's license, you're, you're uh, consenting to the rules of the road. Anytime you, they need a signature, that's another thing I, I left out. Never sign anything, okay? And if you want to know a secret, when they have a, at the bottom, okay, at the bottom where there's a line, never sign there. If you have to, on the, whatever, sign at the very top. Because when you sign at the bottom, you're, you're agreeing to everything that's written above you. If your signature is at the very top, you're not agreeing to anything. But don't. that's just a little secret they don't want you to know about. But don't sign anything. Okay? I can't tell you how many emails I got from, you know, people who signed off because they, they, I didn't know, they threatened me. I get that. Trust me. I understand. Okay? So I'm running out of battery space here. All right? Um, read this. This I have a video about this. I, a guy walked out of court by using this. Okay? Uh, it also helped that it was videotaped, but it doesn't matter. They still got out, okay? I'll go over this in the next video, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you again. Uh, that's my email. If you're interested in my paperwork, I got over 60 affidavits, all right? You file, I, I got a lot of good stuff, okay? I'm not a con man, okay? I'm here to help you. Again, I, for, for legal reasons... I cannot get personally involved. Actually, honestly, I don't want to get personally involved anyway. I went through the battle myself, okay? So I don't want to fight anymore, all right? So anyway, I'm, I'm glad to be back, all right? And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.